as you guys know, I'm pushing for top one at the end of the season. But guys, something, there's a fork in the road, basically. If you guys look at number five on the leaderboard, this player is not real. They are a hacker, and I ended up facing them, and this is how it went. All right, guys, so we are against player here who um apparently, well, I already know, but um people have been saying this guy's a hacker, and I faced him earlier in the stream, and he is hacking, so we'll see how this hacker ends up playing it because i haven't faced a hacker in battles 2 in like a really really long time so we definitely oh he, look you, you just placed a sniper on my side you can tell he's hacking from round one because look at <laughs> look at his side bro he's popping all these balloons instantly with like a fully automatic sniper so like i don't know how i'm supposed to win this match because he's hacking but we'll try our hardest we'll try our hardest but yeah, hackers in Battles 2 used to be very prominent, like when the game first came out. But now they haven't really been um I haven't really noticed one for like a year, and this is the first. This is like the first time I've second time I've seen him, because I've faced him earlier. First time I've seen a hacker in a long time. Did he just place a dart monkey on my side? Is that a dart monkey? Or is that Jericho? It might have been Jericho. I'm not exactly sure. Alright. We'll keep sending him reds. So what this guy likes to do is they upgrade their Jericho to like level 15 and they send you camo balloons on like camo yellows on like round six. And I'll probably die against it, but we'll try our best. We'll see how long we can take the hacker here. And I've already reported him to Ninja Kiwi, but I think Ninja Kiwi goes to like vacation on the weekends or whatever. Like they don't work. So if anything, it's probably not going to be banned until the weekdays, which is unfortunate. All right. Move this obstacle. I'm gonna get my farm down here. I don't ha Oh, I didn't get my Jericho round one. That's actually bad for me. That is kind of bad. He's gonna send me stuff. So yeah, he likes to send you a lot of camo balloon rush on like round seven. I think it is. So let's try to... Let's actually not go for tax shooter upgrades. Let's go for mortar upgrades then. So then I can get the decamo coming. We'll, we're not we're not upgrade to a blade. We're gonna upgrade to a Bernie stuff. So I can de deal with their camos that they're gonna send at me eventually. And we can just target you right there. I'll upgrade my farm a couple times because it doesn't look like they're pressuring me yet. I can I can just get the zero zero three when they send me the camo region rush. Hey, you can hear them upgrading the Jericho. Yep, there it is. Get my decamo up. We're chilling. I'll probably just boost if they rush me. No, they aren't. But you can tell their Jericho's a really high level because all the stuff is camo region coming from the um the AI path. Can I fit you? No way I can't fit this, bro. That's unfortunate. I have to remove an obstacle. Does that get through? It does. I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. Chad, it's over. <laughs> Bro, you could just send infinite region, whatever. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna lose all my score from this one hacker. I've already lost so, like 130. All right, guys. So um, I can't just end the video after one game, you know, because that's the only footage I have against the hacker. But um, we're against Master JRD for our next match here. I'm not live anymore, so this is just me and you guys now. There's not gonna be a chat on the screen. Um, we're starting with my bomb shooter right here. Now we are currently number one in the world. I lost a bunch of elo earlier to the hacker and I got knocked down to number two. But then, you know, your boy Ryan Halleck grinded it back. So we're back in the number one position where I belong. And um, we're see if we can hold it throughout today's video. I'll play a couple more games here for you guys. So they're going with the Science Gwendolyn there, which is interesting. Um, Nice to see it. Oh, balloon bot, don't be sending balloons. It's mortar start as well. Okay, this guy is, this guy is cooking. Oh, you know, you know what they say, guys. A wise man once said, let him cook. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see what this guy stirs up in the crock pot here, and we're gonna we're gonna give it a little taste test. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna give it a little taste test. Get my cluster up. 
Get my cluster up there. Uh, we don't really need some space deco, do we? I don't know. Maybe space deco can... Sorry, my nose itches. I don't know. Maybe space deco can do some damage at them. Let's see how space deos do. Because that's a decent mortar spot they have it in, but... I don't know yet. Okay, they got it up to uh, balloon buster, so I think they'll be good against space deos for now. With the balloon buster mortar. This is on close, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'll be able to greet for my farm here. Give me a thumbs up. Nicely done. I'll give him a... I'll give him a little smudge cut emote. A little smudge cut emote there. He gives me the ice emote. Let me let me hit him with a let me hit him with a BBC emote real quick. Um, it stands for it stands for Big Bloom coming by the way, guys. That's the name of the emote. So don't get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Get your mind out of the gutter there. All right, all right. Uh, let's get this up to bigger bombs. Nice. Okay, they're gonna leak to pinks here. They go. They went for a shell shock. Okay, they're fine. But shell shock does not pop black balloons. I'm guessing that's where their Gwendolyn comes into play. Their Gwendolyn can pop the Black Balloon layer and their Shell Shock can pick up the insides. I assume is their logic here with their the way they're defending. That probably will work out for them. Pressing the button, by the way, is not going to do anything for me. The way their defense is set up, their Mortar is not going to be changed at all how much damage it does if I press the button. And their Gwendolyn will still be able to pop balloons if I press the button. So pressing the button is kind of useless for me in this situation against my opponent. Let's get my biker down. If he presses the button on me, I just get heavy bombs up or can boost. So they have farm. I just noticed that. So what's their last tower? Farm, win, X. We don't know what X is. Farm, mortar, win, X. My bad. Farm, mortar, win, X. Okay, let's see how this does. I think their Gwendolyn's going to pop all the black balloon layers here. We're gonna balloon boost at them. Maybe if I balloon boost, I can get some through. Okay, yeah, we forced a cocktail off, the, off them. It's pretty good. Like, Willen is starting to chase a little bit, though, which could be bad for them. Like, if they just start missing black balloons, it can it's, like, bad news bears for them. Nah, they're, they're doing fine right now, it looks like, actually. They're dealing with it fine. Okay. Yeah, I've got no clue what their last tower could be here. I've got no clue. It's got my plantation up, though. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get long life nanners up and we'll get valuable nanners here soon. Uh, nope. I need, I need more income before I get valuable nanners up. I feel like I'm definitely going to rush this guy because they could have a late game advantage depending on what their third is. I still have no idea what their third is, obviously, but I'm definitely going to have to aggress at him. It's just I can't really... S oh, I could have sent region black balloons. I'll just send region zebras next round. Region black balloons would have been a good rush. Okay, they're gonna use they're gonna use cocktail here, so I'm gonna stop sending. Wait, they don't use cocktail? They just straight up defend it. They're just straight up defending it. Never mind. Okay, this guy's unrushable. His loadout's just too good, bro. I'm just gonna go for my second plant then. We'll just pressure them like round 13, I guess. Because I don't know what I'm supposed to rush him with. Alright, let's go for my mortar right here. We'll get this up to a signal flare. Yeah, we'll rush them round 13. Probably send them like ZMGs and stuff too later, depending on what their third is. I'm guess I'm gonna guess at the moment it's Ninja. That's my current prediction. Ninja would make some sense with their loadout. Let's clear out obstacle. All right. The thing is, they can just use cocktail and pretty much decimate a rush. So I'll have to like rush multiple times, which is a bit unfortunate. If we forced a boost and cocktail. That's exactly what I want. Are they dead still? No, they aren't. Okay, that actually did a lot better than I anticipated. Not gonna lie. That rushed it a lot better than I anticipated. Okay, we're gonna want to press button again. They go for four. They have four mortars on the map. Is that enough? Might get them pierce capped. That's not enough. 
They should have just went for an artillery battery, bro. That's all he need to do. An artillery battery solos. I I guess I don't, we'll just never know. We'll know what their last tower was. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think their last tower was there. My guess is Ninja or Spike Factory. But um, yeah, we're on to the next one. Let's check my rank, by the way. 8129. So we're about... We're only about 40 score ahead, though. All right, guys. Our next match of the video is against Spoonfan123. Now, I know this is eSport because I could tell by the badges before the match started. So um, he is a pretty good player. So I need to make sure I focus up for this one. We'll start with my Dartling down here. Perfect. They're starting with their Dartling as well. Fair enough. We'll go 269 with reds. Oh, I had 270. Okay. Oh, and then we'll send some blues to 276. Then we'll be good. Let's get my Jericho down round one. Good. Put that on strong. All right, we're chilling. And we will go back to the red balloon eco now. They got their Jericho down as well. They placed their Jericho on the left side, though, which is interesting. I feel like my placement's better because, like, It'll do better against mobs. It has more track area inside the range. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean there? You know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna start with my boat here in a second. Right about there. Perfect. Got my boat down. They're upgrading their dartling. Fair enough. My question is, do they have farm or boat here? That is the question of the day. I assume it is boat because normally if you have farm, you're not going to be sending blue balloons here. So I assume they have boat as well, which is going to be a mere matchup for me and my opponent, which is interesting. A mere matchup indeed here. Let's defend all this. All right, send some pinks. We're chilling. We actually haven't leaked a single life. That is pretty crazy. Wait, they upgraded their to zero to two darling. It's not gonna be boat then, because they would have placed a boat if they had boat, right? It's gotta be something. Maybe darling Ark ninja. They could be going some late game strategy. Okay. They could be going some late game variant here of darling Ark. I need to focus up now. Yeah, it's definitely not boat. It's not farm either. Okay, we're gonna try to run an anti stolen. Target my darling like this, so I can try to pop these rounds quick. If possible. We'll have to be aggressive to my opponent in this matchup. Because they will have a late game advantage. Because they don't have a farming tower in their loadout. We have a farming tower. But we don't exactly know what their loadout is at the moment. M my current guess is going to be Ninja though. Darling Elk Ninja. That is my current prediction. Yeah, they go for a second darling. I'm not even gonna send them yellows here. So I mean that's fine. We go for a second boat. So we'll defend yells pretty well. We're gonna get a second merchantman on round eight here. I'm gonna play more farm heavy because I'll need to be aggressing at my opponent. So less eco, more farms is how I'm gonna play this out. Okay, two more income boosts, I get my merchant up. One income boost. Perfect. Steal from them. They stole from me as well. Alrighty. Making $600 per round now. Which is great. Alright, so as an eco player, they don't want to be sending me rushes too much. So I can leverage that to my advantage a lot of the time here. By doing certain things. Send them a couple of these. Okay, look at that. With just that small rush, we force a zero to Jarling. That's actually great. That's what you love to see. They haven't they go for an elk there. Do they have money for the HRP then? We forced a boost, that's great. Since I knew they couldn't really aggress at me because they don't have farms, I could send all those rushes there. Is what I'm talking about, guys. Leverage your advantage in the matchup. Yeah, we forced their elk buff, that's great. We're 
chilling. I honestly shouldn't have even rushed again. The second rush was kind of dumb for me because I knew, basically I knew that they had enough money in hand for the alchemist and they just needed to have it up anyways. And then I just wasted like a bunch of money in a rush just to force it when they already would have been getting it up. It just wasn't the smartest move on my side to rush them there that second time. Okay, they force sold their alchemist. I did not even need to rush them again. I'm wasting so much money in rushes right now, guys. All right, let's get my merchant up. We still don't know what the last tower is. I'm wasting a lot of money in rushes though. That, that was pretty poorly played for me. I don't know if I can afford my favorite this round. I need two income boosts. We might stole this round out a little bit just so I can afford my favored. Please, please, please. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, still no clue to what their last is. I might send them a couple fortified mobs next round, force a boost, and then re-rush them. Can be a pretty smart play a lot of the time. Okay, we're gonna get my second favorite up first, though. They need to boost this. Yeah, they do. Okay. They might still be dead. Yeah, they're still dead. Alright, awesome. I, Dude. I made a lot of mistakes there, but still, I don't think Darling Elk with, like, not farm or boat's pretty good, because you don't have any farming towers there, and there's just, like, a lot of openings on a map like Basalt where you can get rushed, you know what I'm saying? Alright, guys, our last match of the video is against my man Adam the Pig. I know he's a big fan of the channel, so... Hope we'll see how this game plays out. Going we'll strategy of Darling Oak Boat here on the map of Glade. You already know I love this strategy, so it should be a fun one. They're going Heli. What in God's green earth is this? Heli on this map is something I have not really seen. I'm guessing it's Heli Elk something. I know, I know Ad, Adam likes playing Heli Elk, so I assume it is Heli Elk X, but I don't know what the X is. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we've got to figure out. It's funny because our last two games we don't even know what our third tower, the third tower of our uh, opponent was. So that's like I don't know, it's just kind of funny to think about that we've been playing blind basically. They never used their third. Let's get my boat down right there. Send greens this round, some blues next round. This will apply the most pressure to my opponent this way. Okay, they're going farm. So it's, it's gonna be Hell Elk Farm. It's gotta be Hell Elk Farm, right? Nothing else really makes sense here for my opponent. And I'm pretty sure with Hell Elk Farm, they need to get Razor Rotors round five, which is very, very expensive round five defense. So that should be pretty good for me. Oh, look at this. We've got their Heli chasing hard too. This is very good. This is what I want. Their Heli is chasing, chasing. I'm gonna balloon boost them some pinks this round. Yep, it is Heli Elk. Look at that, bro. I, I read them like a book. Literally, I'm like reading a book right now. That's me. I'm actually reading a book right now. And they might be able to fin white balloons with Heli Elk if they don't... If they go for some weird alchemist combination of upgrades. I haven't really seen people do that before, but that actually could work out for my opponent. They go for a, a certain array of Heli... of alchemist upgrades. It might be fine. Okay, they went for a 1-1-0 one, one, Alk. Is that enough? If I Balloon Boost, I don't think it's enough at all. N yeah, that we forced a boost with the Balloon Boost. That's great. The nice part about this for me, too, is that they'll need to buy heli um, Camo Protection on their Heli as well. Because Heli does not have boats in Camo. Like Dartling. Well, Dartling doesn't actually either. What am I saying? Okay, they got their, um, stronger, not stronger acid, they got the perishing potions upgrade on their alchemist, so it's doing a little bit more damage now. So I think they're chilling. Yeah, they're chilling, they're chilling. I know Adam's a big heli elk guy, so I don't think yells would do anything against that, to be honest. 
I don't think so. So I'm going to play a two merchantmen route, like I did last game. Two merchants round eight. It's a pretty good route to take here. This is a They're still leaking the AI as well. They need to be careful about that. Wait, they actually go for that. Let's send them some regions then. And we'll balloon boost it. Force a second boost out of them. Yeah, there it is. I knew it would force a boost. They might die here, to be honest. No, they didn't. Okay, they're gonna be they're gonna be getting their razor rotors up, I assume. If not, then I kill them here. This might region out of control. They get the razor rotors up. No, they're good. They're good. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. That's two boosts down from my opponent, though, if I remember correctly. Which is kind of dangerous for them. Okay, they forced my HRP. Nicely done. I think I'll send them around 13 rush. But they don't have an elk buff up. They'll get a they'll get an elk buff, but I don't think. And I'll put one Alcbuff Tele is very strong. They boost against it. Is boost enough? Boost is enough. Nicely done. Okay, we're in a forced farm cell here. We did that. Perfect. That's what I wanted. All right, now we'll chill. They're, they're at zero boost now. So I just need to play it smart. If I play it smart, I don't think I can lose it. And I think I've got an eco lead too. Like, I think I just spam BFBs at them round 22 probably. It's a good plan. I don't know exactly. I don't really play against Helioc, so it's just... You know, it's new territory. Oh crap, I just removed an obstacle for zero reason. And now I can't afford my favorite trades because I removed the obstacle. You know, Ryan, sometimes you make really bad decisions. And that was one of them. I just gotta be careful. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. I'm kind of scared, chat. I don't know how to play against this strategy. I assume they're gonna rush me. They are. We're gonna boost this. Because I know they're sending multiple. And they aren't sending multiple. Well, I definitely don't. I did not need to boost that then. That was an unnecessary boost moment. Unfortunate. Do you gonna all out me? Okay, they send me three of them. Fair enough. I have boost back now, which is nice. Sell that, get the chew up. Get the chew up. Alright. Time to see how this plays out. I have a late game advantage in this because they can't defend DTs with their loadout, I'm pretty sure. The Heli does not do very good against DTs. So they're if they send me a if they send me a ZMG, I think I'm countering all up BFBs, is my plan. Because they have zero boosts. Okay, we're gonna send some camos with this in a bit. 
Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. GG's. Oh, man. That game actually had me on the edge of my seat, dude. I'm not going to lie. Heli Alk, like... He's a good Heli Alk player, too. It's not a very good strategy, but in good hands, dude, it can get a little scary. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and forward. As you know, I'm trying to grind for T1 this season, so give me some support in the comment section, dude. Do you think I can hit it? Let me know. Alright, my like out. Peace, lads.